Hey boo, how y'all doing? People always say money came by having it, shit. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so happy to be sitting here in great health talking to y'all. Most of y'all know I live in the tropics and we had a girl and she came through and homegirl was not nice, all right? So she came through, she did her thing, she literally wreaked heavy. Okay, but I am sitting here in a, a moment of extreme gratitude because aside from some minor damage to my home, we made out pretty darn well. So my little house, it has been standing since Curtis Mayfield oh, was having our parents do some things. So I had, I had some faith that Big Red was gonna do her thing and Big Red definitely stood her on and she said, girl, no weapon <laughs> so yeah i'm just happy that i'm okay so where it came into a cat four my son is there at, at college and so i was kind of worried about him but he did wonderful decided not to come home which was okay with me so he did great and they didn't lose power and there was no damage to where he was and I'm just happy. So I'm about to go for a run. So I'm looking pretty rough, I know, but I had to come talk to y'all about this sale that we've gotten. So we got moisturizers for $4.95 up until Sunday or Monday at 6 a.m. if you like to shop at the last minute. And some of us got coupons on our accounts. I know I got a 20% and y'all, this is going to make an amazing deal for some of us. So for some of us, it can make them as cheap as $4, which is SAS prices. And if you don't have that 20% off on your account. Some people are getting 25% off coupons, which makes them 360. And some of us have 10 off 30s. You can't use the 20 and the 10 off 30 at the same time. But if you get seven products at $5, that makes $35 take away the $10, that makes $25 for seven products. That is a little under. $3 is some change, which is a good bang for your buck. So if it were me, I would probably do the seven, get seven products, do the 10 off 30 and get my seven products for $25, which is a lick if you ask me. So yeah, for me, I'm not sure if I'm going to be shopping or not. Number one, our BOPIS is turned off because of the weather event we had obviously i don't think the stores are going to be open and paying shipping ain't for me i don't think i'm going to be shopping also i think i have pretty much everything that i wanted i kind of was thinking about getting the platinum but then i saw that it's a glotion and i'm just not super big on the glotions because i typically don't wear them so I just want to talk to y'all about some of my recommendations. Sorry, the lighting is kind of funny. The sun is coming in and out of the cloud. I'm about to go for a run because one thing about me, I'm nosy and I like to do post hurricane runs. <laughs> so if you like to see that type of stuff, go ahead and follow me on TikTok. I definitely will be vlogging my run in a minute or less. So let's talk about what are some of my recommendations for this sale. I hope y'all ball out. I hope you get whatever your heart desires. However, here are some things that I have experience with that are tried and true bangers for me. So the first thing I'm going to recommend is with a sale like this, you want to go for the higher priced items. That's going to be your body butters and your body oils. A lot of people sleep on the body oils, but get those body oils because their body oils are pretty darn good at moisture and for your book. And they actually are fragranced really well. So I'll give you some recommendations for that. Secondly, I like to recommend those body butters because the body butters are upwards of $21. And with that $4 price point, that brings it all the way down to like an 80% mark off which is cheaper than what you will get at SAS because we never get anything cheaper than 75% off. So I definitely going to recommend those body butters. Then I'm not huge on the moisturizing body washes. I know, I know, I know. Something in my nose picks up a shampoo 
type scent to them so after using a few of those i decided i no longer will be purchasing those that could just be a me problem so not too much so i do recommend getting those if you love those and then the lotions because the lotions i also think that you could get those with rewards if you are a frequent shopper but if you're not a frequent shopper and you don't accrue a lot of rewards go ahead and get the lotions i don't recommend no body creams so if there is any body creams that you recommend y'all gonna have to find that for somebody else because i no longer buy those I'm done with those. So without further ado, let's get into my recommendations. I did take some notes so you'll see me referencing my notes. So first is the body butters. I definitely most off rip are gonna recommend the milk body butter. This one is sugar, oats, and milk, and it is a skin scent, meaning that you smell it on cold, you really don't smell it, but the moment it activates on your skin, you get a wonderful skin experience. I actually wore it last night. It is great for fragrance layering with other options and it's thick and the formula is awesome. So if you're not familiar with the formula for their body butters, I'm gonna try to get it on camera for you. Super moisturizing, not too thick. And yeah, look at that moisture. I definitely recommend that one. And it just smells so good. I actually wore it with cozy vanilla bourbon, but any vanillas that you have in your collection, any gourmands, anything, you're gonna wanna put this milk in your life. So yeah, I'm going to recommend milk. So then I want to add the Vanilla Romance Body Butter if your store has it. Vanilla Romance has taken the world by the storm. It is a smoky vanilla. It pairs with a lot of the smoky vanillas and perfumes and bath and body works alike if you have vanilla sniff that's the it girl of the season everybody is talking about that go ahead and pick up that body butter i do have the body butter in my bestie's possession but i do want you to go ahead and pick that one up girl okay pick it up Next, I'm going to recommend, and this is an older one, but uh, Champagne, Apple, and Honey. I'm not sure if they have it in the body butter. I'm quite sure they do, but the smell is a powerhouse. Now, this one is cruddy and old and, you know, so, but look at that. When I tell you Champagne, Apple, and Honey, in my opinion, is one of the most slept on scents it is. Long story short, it is a deep red apple smothered in honey. And that champagne is like in the background holding them two up. <laughs> Baby, it is it. It is a legend. And anybody who don't have champagne, apple, and honey, you sleep. You sleep. Knocked out. So I do recommend you can get this one because it is a powerhouse when it comes to layering it is a powerhouse by itself and i know at least in this particular older formula this is from 21 it just is so good and it's non-greasy and it's non-tacky and yeah i just love their body butters i love shea butter i love cocoa butter so they do they big one with their body butters next i am going to recommend Coche. This is actually a backup. I've gone through two of these. This services all of your coconut shea buttery needs. So if you have a scent that needs a little bit of coconut, it needs some smoothness, that nutty shea butter, but not too much like cardamom, this is going to service your needs. It is also a banger by itself, and there is a fine fragrance mist and a moisturizing wash. So it does hold its own, but it's great to fragrance layer with. I just love this one so much. It is also wonderful for men. This is probably my husband's favorite scent. So pick this one up, girl. I'm going to recommend the Sensitive Unscented. It says that it's unscented, but I do get somewhat of a tiny, clean type of scent, but it is unscented. This one is for the sensitive skin girlies, the girlies with babies, thick, wonderful shea butter nutty formula nutty formula still thick still creamy yet 
it is a beast, especially on those days where you don't wanna wear fragrances or if you're sensitive to fragrances and you can't wear a specific fragrance, I do recommend you wear this one. Also water, I don't have water anymore. I bust through two waters this past summer, but water is an amazing beast of a scent. It is to go with the rain perfume mist and there is a moisturizing body wash. So it can lend itself as a standalone. I wore a lot with On The Horizon. It's great with Midsummer Dream. It's great with Gingham, any of the freshies in your collection. It's great with, and it is considered an aromatherapy. So it has that nice, thick consistency that's not too greasy and it's not too loud and it is a skin scent. So you are going to love it. I have gingham. Always recommend getting the gingham body butter. This is a year round scent, a freshie with some peach, freesia, clementine, violet, and clean musk. I do recommend the cocoa shea and the honey. It smells like the other cocoa shea, but it has a very, very strong honey note. So this one is great for fragrance layering it. It also has that wonderful composition as the other ones. I love it and I think that you should get it. Other recommendation is Champagne Toast. Now this is the older Champagne Toast, but I feel like as a Bath & Body Works girly, Champagne Toast has to be in your collection. Girl, it just has to. This one is a sparkling orange scent. It is beautiful in and of itself. It is an amazing scent. It has bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tangerine. Y'all, they on TikTok talking about if you wanna know what a toxic girl smells like. It smells like champagne toast. Are we toxic if we love champagne toast? I mean, I don't know. Maybe us toxic girls just got it, got that vibe where we know what we're doing. So we happen to wear champagne toast. But champagne toast and a thousand wishes should be staples in your collection. If you don't have champagne toast and a thousand wishes in your collection, put in the comments why. Put in the comments why. I also am going to recommend this one in the body lotion. I have Together Weather. This is last year's packaging, but it has that nice thick shea butter formula. This is Blushing Breeze, Sugar Cardamom, and Soft Cedar. It is amazing by itself. It is amazing to fragrance layer. If you have your uh, Sol de Janeiro Cheriosa 40. This is what you're going to buy instead of that $50 body cream. And I don't even know if they came out with a body cream with that one. So yeah, those are the body butters that I recommend. Pretty much all of them. But yeah. Next, let's go into some lotions. I have some lotions here that I recommend. First, I want to recommend Autumn Drive. Autumn Drive is Wild Raspberry, Warm Amber, and Vanilla Birch. It happened with Mary guessed it, my flabber, when she said that this smells like Summer Melody. And long story short, it does. It smells like a deeper version of Summer Melody, and that makes it Summer Melody for the winter. Next, I also put in Together Weather in the lotion. If you're not a body butter girly, get the lotion. This particular scent is sold out in my store. This is Gingham Fresh. Gingham Fresh is such a banger and I feel like people don't talk about her enough. So Gingham Fresh is a freshie. This is Juicy Pear, Sparkling Clementine, and Fresh Daisies. It's a fresh pear scent. It smells like if you are putting clothes on a clothesline and there is a pear pie like whipping in the background and there's that laundry and the freshness of the sun and y'all, the daisies in the background, that's what this smells like. Recommending Gingham Gorgeous. This is last year's packaging, but it was closer for me to grab. I have both packaging. This is Pink Strawberries, Peach Nectar, and Peony Blooms. This is a soft strawberry with peach and it's floral. I, I'm gonna call this one a fruity floral. I feel like this one is one of the one scents that you're gonna wear on a little getaway with your man. You don't have to even put on perfume. You could just put on the lotion. Yeah. 
And then I have Sunrise Woods, which is a shocker. This one is creamy sandalwood, sweet berries, and cozy cashmere. I got this one for the layering. I have Sunrise Woods. It is, this one is a woody berry scent, but I also needed something to pair with my sweet whiskey. So this one is good for that. This one is also good for standing long if you have snowflakes and cashmere. Those are the types of scents that you can wear with this and obviously with Sunrise Woods. I love the formula of these this year. I think that you should also look at the oils. The oils that I highly recommend, a lot of people sleep on the massage oils. If you're a parent, if you are taking care of someone and they don't have allergies to scent, I definitely recommend these aromatherapy massage oils. This one in particular, which is the spare eucalyptus and spearmint, I keep this one on deck for the winter time. This is awesome if you are congested, you have a sick child, you just like the, the scent of spearmint for that cooling effect that clears your nasal passages, pick this one up. It is very strong and it is very good and it's great to add with an unscented moisturizer to get the experience of that. I also recommend lavender and vanilla. This one is great for your baby, for your young child, for yourself. If you have trouble sleeping at night, girl, 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 girl. This one is exactly what you need. It's that soft lavender carried by vanilla that don't make it smell like boo-boo. I always recommend these Coco Shea oils. We bust these down so bad. Awesome for pairing. I also have the Coco Shea in the honey. We love this one. These are really good. If you have little bottles, put these in here. They serve as great cuticle oils. They serve as great carrier oils to add to your lotions. And they do well just with moisturizing your body in all different types of seasons. So I also want to talk a little bit about some moisturizing washes. I don't have any in my possession, but if I did get some, I would get Vanilla Romance because Vanilla Romance is that it girl and it's selling out everywhere. Even my store, we don't have any in stock, but if your store gets has some, I would get those if you're into those. Any of the Coco Shea ones, I would pick those up. I would pick up the Spearmint one because that one is really good for if you got a little sniffle, you caught the cooties and you just need to let your nasal passages release. Those are good and the lavender ones. So girl, that is it for my recommendations for this sale. What do you think about my recommendations? Are you going to pick up anything from the sale? If you've gotten this far in this video, give me an apple for champagne, apple, and honey. And to also let me know that you've gotten this far. Love you. Okay, bye.